Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Blake, and today I'm going to show you guys how to cook up a beat in the likes of 21 Savage, Trippy Red, Metro Boomin, any of those type of vibes. Uh, this beat's from scratch. I made it with my friend Max. I made the drums, he made the sample. Uh, but yeah, so let's get right into it. All right, so before I go into the breakdown, I'm going to play a little snippet of the beat so you guys know what it sounds like. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, play. So now that we know what the final product sounds like, let's go into the basics of the melody first just to start off with. In Keyscape, we grab this clavichord epic cinema piano, and for this specific piano, one when one note, it plays like a whole chord. So that's why it's only one note throughout the pattern, but this is what the pattern sounds like. This section of the melody really sets the tone of the entire beat, really, which is the really evil type sounding piano. Next, we went into Purity and grabbed this lead called Pressure, and this is what we played out. Really nothing much to see here, just one note on the one and then the five here. And what it does, it just adds some intensity to the melody and it just having one sustained note throughout your melody, whether it's a string, whether it's a bass, it can add a really cool effect whenever you're flipping it. Although at the end of the flipping the sample, we cut most of the low end out, this specific synth, although it's at a low octave, it has a really nice midsection that we like, just really liked in the beat. Next we went to Arcade and we went into this Dark Wave preset and we played out this pattern. I really advise every beginner producer to get Arcade because one, it's just super cheap. It's only 10 bucks a month. And also it just, it's really easy to make melodies with. It's almost a cheat code. It's basically samples, like parts of samples on each note you play, as you can see here. Also, if you have a lack of music theory knowledge, which I really do, I don't know a whole lot of music theory, just the basics, but you can literally just set your scale to whatever you want and just play out the notes and it just works out. Lastly, we got the classic nylon guitar and played out this pattern. All we did was have the bass note be the root note of the melody we were working in, which was A sharp, and then we just added some top notes just to complement it, but not too uh, complicated. After rendering the melody out, we pitched it up 700 cents. We added quite a bit of gross beats throughout the beat, and some of these are automated, so you won't hear them in this section, but we added the slow triplet to be the main effect to have on the melody. Throughout the beat, we also add the times two speed, but we took down the time knob so it wasn't as intense, and we just have it automated some throughout the track to add variation. We added a compressor, a stereo shaper, and an EQ to cut out some of the low end. Now here's the final result of the sample. Moving on to the drums, I put down the Zeta weight pattern. We do have the pattern going out eight bars, but it's basically the same pattern, except different notes. I use this Pierre Bourne 808 called the Hacks My Instagram, which is from his song Hacks My Instagram. Um, but originally the 808 was pretty long and it sounded like this. I like the sound a lot, but I wanted the 808 to be more short. So then I just pulled this out knob up like this and now it sounds like this. Just a basic clap. Here's the hi-hat pattern I laid down. The 
pattern is really simple, but there is some extra rolls and we added some six notes right here just to add as a, add some more movement to the beat. Then we added this explosion perk. On the perk I cut some low end out and, and I added this delay. Then we added another perk from a pier kit. And finally some cadence snares. This beat is really spacey drum wise and not too complicated at all to, to make sure the rapper has some room to rap on the beat. Mixing wise, we just leveled all the sounds out by ear and added some compressors here and there to some of the drum sounds and to the melody, obviously. For the outro, we added this automation on the master volume so that the, the melody fades out as the beat ends. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.